Hello guys, ProLab2010 with you today and today I'll be showing you another tutorial in command prompt. And today I'll be showing you how to filter files by uh, uh, by the ones that have our contained string that we're looking for. Now this may sound a little bit confusing but once, you, well, once I show you, you're going to see how much sense it makes and how important this might be in the future. So if you watch my previous tutorials, we made a folder X inside of our computer, uh, inside of our C drive, folder X. This is so it'd be easily referred to in the tutorials. You can create a folder X right now to uh, to follow along with this tutorial and uh, follow this I mean, step by step and you should get a successful result uh, as we go along. So here's our folder X. In this folder we have music, pictures, text, and video. Now let's say we want all the music to go into the music folder, all the all the text to go in the text folder, all the pictures to go into the pictures folder, and all our video into our video folder. And uh, what might help you? What might help you right now is to do uh, go to press Alt on your keyboard, go to Tools, go to Folder Options, View, and then uh, make sure that Hide Extension for No File Types is unchecked, and press OK. It's gonna be help you to, to refer to what kind of picture it is, a JPEG, the file extension, basically. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is send each file according uh, to their format to the folder they should be in. Now, if you have thousands of files, or if you have uh, hundreds of files, whatever, it might be a long, lengthy process, so this is going to help you uh, save that time. So let's open up command prompt and let's direct ourselves to folder X. CD backslash gets our back to our root folder, and CD X is going to get us to the X folder. Now, here's where all our files are located. You can press DIR and press enter, and it's going to give you the list of all the files that are currently in our uh, folder. What you want to do now is uh, you want to type in uh, move or any kind of command for the specific uh well let me just show you Let, let's move uh anything that could, you got to do an asterisk asterisk anything that contains and and this is where you type in what you want the string to contain so dot jpg now since our uh since our pictures contain dot jpg uh we want we want command prompt to look for anything that has jpg to move it and i have to assign the location move anything that contains jpg space to uh, pictures and if we is that how we called it yes then press enter and you can see it it takes all these it says nine files moved as you can see it took all of our jpeg uh all of our files that have a jpeg format and it moved them to the folder where we wanted it to be moved now let's do the same thing to the audio you would do move anything that contains dot mp3 to music enter and as you can see now nine files have been moved and if we go over here you can see that our pictures and our audio is now gone from the folder now you're going to do the same thing for every other for, for every other thing so let's do move anything that contains a dot txt to text and move that and let's move anything that contains dot mov to video i think it's called video or video yeah and press enter and as you can see all files have been moved and if we go back to our original folder X you can see that all the files are organized to whichever folder they belong now this doesn't only work with file extension this also works with uh, files that let me show you uh, let's go into the folder mo mo video so CD video and now we're in the video folder as you can see a lot of them contain that dot IMG so you want to type in let's let's move anything or let's copy anything that contains uh, IMG and well I'm sorry I, I just messed up a little bit but let's continue with the tutorial uh, it just worked when uh, let's say we want to copy all the all the files that have that dot IMG copy it to the X folder so let's do this you want to co uh, copy anything that contains IMG and you want to close that back up with the asterisk and then uh, give it the file specified if it's not the file uh, path if it's not in the same folder then you want to just uh, give it an absolute path which is C and then X and press enter and as you can see it has copied all the files now uh, this works with the uh, with the copy it works with the delete command it works with uh, basically you're telling command prompt to isolate anything that contains this part of this uh, that this part of the string so uh, that's very useful in many cases 
Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, post them in the comment sections below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.